Hi everyone, I'm Megan Boone and I'm the Director of the Office of Career Services and I'm excited to chat with you today a little bit about resumes. Um, like many folks, I'm working fully remote right now and have a um, very energetic seven-year-old and five-year-old running around. So if you hear some shouting, probably just them. Um, I think as, as people are home and maybe involved in less activities, it can be a great time to put together a resume to take some time and, and reflect. I do want to start by saying, don't worry that the summer of 2020 maybe hasn't been as productive from a career development standpoint as you anticipated. As we're talking with employers and graduate schools, they understand that internships have been canceled, that job offers have been delayed, and are going to be very understanding as the economy picks back up and those opportunities reopen. Um, so as I start to share tips with you, I think my first tip, take some time before you begin putting together a resume to reflect on what you've accomplished. Ask yourself what differentiates you from someone else with your degree, someone else with a similar job. What unique contributions have you made to a particular club or organization? Also, think about how you can prove that you possess the top eight skills that employers seek. These skills were put together based upon research from the National Association of Colleges and Employers and include critical thinking, leadership, communication, teamwork, technology, global fluency, professionalism, work ethic, and career management. Make sure that your accomplishments reflect those skills within your resume. Customize your resume. Customize it for you, your experiences, and how you plan to use it. If your career plans include graduate school, you'll want to include relevant research, academic projects that show your critical thinking and communication skills. If your career aspirations may be leaned towards becoming a manager, you may want to focus more on relevant work experience, internships, club and organization involvement, that showcase leadership and teamwork skills. As you decide what sections to include in your resume, be very purposeful with the wording. You have limited space on your resume, and so you want to, everything to be as impactful as possible. Um, would teaching experience be a better word choice than simply experience? Is campus leadership more impressive than other activities as you think about how to name those sections. Also consider the order of the sections. If you have lots of relevant experience, then your experience section might be towards the top of your resume. While perhaps if you've been very active during this pandemic, volunteering at a food pantry, and you really have a lot of community engagement, perhaps having a community involvement section at the top of your resume makes the most sense for you. A skills section can be a really easy way to highlight specific software, technology, relevant concepts that you've gained while a student at Moorhead State. And certainly don't forget that education section. List Moorhead State University first within that section. Go ahead and put the degree that you're pursuing and when you anticipate graduating. Next tip, would be to format your resume so that it's easy to read, easy for a recruiter to skim in less than a minute. I'd really recommend starting with a blank Word document rather than using a template. It's easy to center sections and mimic the formatting you might see in a template, but templates tend to have some limitations. They're not designed for college students. They can be challenging to customize, and a lot of times the online applicant tracking systems aren't able to read the keywords and the words within those templates. So consider using bold, italics, bullets, spacing to customize your resume yourself. Most importantly, craft strong bullets and have bullets under your work experience. Collegiate sports involvement, volunteer work, clubs or organizations. So we want you to list the basic information like the employer, the organization, city state location, as well as the, the job title or that you're a member of an organization, as well as the dates of involvement. 
but also follow that up with some details on what you accomplished. One way to ensure this is to use what we call the ACE method. It's a simple formula that you can use to construct bullets that focus on accomplishments rather than just job duties. It's an acronym, so the A stands for action. You want to make sure you're starting each bullet with an action verb. You know, try composed, presented, marketed if you're trying to showcase communication skills. Analyzed, reduced, solved might showcase critical thinking skills. The C is for challenge. What was the issue or challenge? Lastly, the E is for end result. And this is probably the most important. What was the outcome of your action? This is a great place to work in numbers that prove you're good at something. You know, take a basic bullet on a resume, which might say, manage social media. Transform that into an ACE bullet that says, designed and implemented a social media campaign on Instagram that resulted in over a thousand engagements. Or a basic bullet like answered phone becomes answered an average of 40 incoming calls per day, resolving issues with customers in the billing department. With these few tips, you should be able to get started on representing your accomplishments on paper. Remember, there's no one way to do a resume as everyone has different experiences, awards, accomplishments, and career goals. Know that our office is here to support you. If you want to see some resume samples designed for college students, download the resume section of our career guide, www.moreheadstate.edu slash career slash resumes. Team and Career Services is always available to review your resume and help you make sure that you're career ready. We are really looking forward to seeing you back on campus.